Hi, my name is Max. Welcome to Neatbox Laboratories. And today I want to show you the double minor oil cool experiment. Um, this machine here houses two S9s uh, inside of it. Now this was not quite as successful as I had hoped, but uh, let's take a look at it and see why and what I intend to do with it in the future. The basic setup of the double minor oil cooler is the same as the single minor but uh, it's just made larger. Um, I used a one-third horsepower centrifugal blower and this B&M radiator I got off of Amazon. Uh, I was expecting it to be somewhat larger but I think that the surface area is about the same as the 30 row oil cooler on the single minor and this was a lot more, this was almost double the money I think the 30 row would have actually been a good choice. The whole assembly is plumbed with 3 quarter inch or dash 12 in fittings and um, matching uh, 3 quarter inch or dash 12 push lock hose. For the oil can, uh, I used a, a 20 millimeter ammo can. Uh, the official name is an M548 ammo can and I added these, um, the official name for this fitting is actually a cord grip um, and uh, they let you run your wires through but they do seal against moisture and you can see we have two ethernet bulkheads for the two miners so if we open the lid we can see our two miners inside it's a little oily so bear with me here This is our oil return line. Um, I would have liked to have redone this a little differently, but there is a, a separate oil return for each one of the miners. One of the things I don't particularly like about the setup is everything is very tight in there. As you can see, these miners are just literally shoved in there along with their power supplies. Pulling it out requires a little bit of effort. So here you can see the fluid connections. Um, th these are using steel hydraulic three quarter inch or dash twelve. Um, AIN, AN or sometimes known as JAS fittings um, and as you can see the pump picks up the oil from the bottom whereas the uh, oil flow flows across the miners uh, vertically uh, not horizontal like we had before um, and here I used copper crush washers instead of the uh, o-rings uh, this hole had a little boo-boo so I had to add a washer to fix it so the problem with this actual setup is that there's not enough oil flow. Uh, now I use this EcoPlus 1267 pump, which is smaller than the 1600 that I would have liked to use. Uh, however, I, I couldn't fit the larger pump inside here. And it turns out that uh, this just simply does not move enough oil to adequately cool the two miners. So I, I took the wiring apart. Um, to film this video but as you can see I have a uh, junction box for my two main power lines uh, going to a single power cable and then I also have the same same variable speed controller uh, as we used before to control the fan during operational testing of this uh, using cooling air of about 70 degrees around room temperature I, I couldn't keep the core temps below 80 degrees consistently um, you know, no matter how much air I put on the other side um, I, when I put this together based on my other experience I was hoping the smaller pump would be okay but turns out that now what can we do with this you know, a couple options one we could try fixing it and if you recall from the uh, convective heat transfer equations, it's uh, an issue of temperature difference and mass transfer. 
So we could increase the temperature difference by running core air through it. Uh, that would, however, be an issue if you want to run this in room temperature environments. However, if we get something like this, which is a liquid to liquid heat exchanger and pump chilled water in it, I think that would work. Chilled water is usually specified about 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and if you don't care about recovering the heat but want to run two miners and completely eliminate the noise, and you have chilled water, perhaps you're at some industrial facility or university lab um, or somewhere else where you have uh, very inexpensive power, uh, this would not be a bad choice. Furthermore, water cooling will give you an effectively noiseless setup, uh, far quieter than using a, a blower like this. If we want to increase the pumping speed, um, obviously we can't fit a larger pump inside the can, there's just simply not enough room. We could fit a pump on the outside. Uh, one option would be something like this Procon carbonator pump, and its advantage is that uh, this develops significantly higher pressure than these little submersible pumps, so we can separate the radiator and the can over a larger distance and a, a larger height if need be. Um, the downside is, is one, these are a good bit noisier than the submersible pumps, and they're also significantly more expensive. Now, now what can we do in this situation besides cry silently inside? Uh, well, a couple of options. One, if you're, uh, if for some reason you need more internal volume for your single S9, you could use this can. Uh, it would work very nicely especially if you want to use the 110 volt setup, power supplies. Um, putting them into the 40 millimeter ammo can makes things very, very tight in there. Uh, this, this ammo can is about uh, $50, so it's double the price of the 40 millimeter, but it would make it a lot easier to put the 110 power supplies in there. Now, if we look at the size of this can, it's a little over 7 inches wide, about 16 inches long, but a little over 12 inches tall inside. Um, according to Bitmain's website, the latest and greatest S17 should fit very nicely inside this can. Uh, so my plans for this setup is to try to get my hands on an S17 for non usurious amounts of money uh, and place it inside here. And now the S17 at its uh, highest setting is listed as drawing about 3400 watts. The two S9s draw about 2800 combined. Um, so we'll have to think of something to do about the, the larger oil pump. Uh, but I think uh, this is a good basis for a single S17 um, oil cooled setup. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what uh, you guys think of this particular setup and perhaps somebody else's uh, other ideas for it. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and keep on mining crypto.